Now to begin with your totem pole, you're going to need a few different pieces of supplies. You're going to need something to draw with. You will need scissors, glue, and you're going to need at least three different color pieces of paper. Now if you don't have different color pieces of paper, you can always go ahead and just draw out your image on a sheet of paper and then go ahead and color it different colors. Now, totem poles are symmetrical. So that means whatever you put on one side, it's gonna be the exact same on the other side. Now, I'm gonna use one large piece of paper like this for my actual shape of the totem pole. And I'm going to use these other two pieces of paper for all of the details on here. Now, when making the details for your totem pole, what I like to do is just take my paper and I like to just fold it in half like this. Doing this allows me to have something that, you know, I can draw something on and then when I cut it out, I can just cut out one side and I'll end up with two different pieces. So I like to go and just take my paper and I might just cut this into a few different parts. So I'll make some a little bit smaller, some a little bit bigger. And this way I'll have a few different little pieces to work with. You can also do that same thing with your other piece of paper. Just fold it in half and then cut out just a couple big strips like this. So you have some different things to work with. Now, what you want to do is you want to add some of the different details onto your totem pole characters. So, totem poles have lots of different things on there. Of course they have eyes, and the eyes come in different shapes. They can be circle, they can be oval, but a really famous shape is the teardrop shape. And so what I'm gonna do is just make a nice big teardrop shape on one of my pieces of paper. On another one of these, I'm going to go and just make a circle shape like this, something that I can put into the center of my teardrop shape when I'm done. I might go ahead and use one of these shapes that are a little, that's a little bit smaller, and I might make a mouth on here. So to do that, I'll just go and draw a really tall half of an oval shape. And then maybe on a little thinner piece like this, I'll go ahead and draw a thinner, skinnier oval shape. Just so I have something that could sit inside of here easily. Now, you're also gonna need some things such as like ears and whatnot on there. So on a piece of paper like this, I could go ahead and I can make the ears. So if I wanted to make an ear, what I could do is, let's say I'm gonna make like a bear, what I'll do is I'll just draw a little line that goes up, and then I would curve it down like this. If I wanted something for the inside of that ear, I could draw another shape just like that, but I would just make it a little bit smaller so that it would sit inside of there. Totem poles are all about having different parts sitting inside one another. It's kind of like layering different things on top of one another. Now, I want to make a nice nose for my bear. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this fold part right here, and I'll just draw a little line that goes out and then I'll make a line that goes down, and then it's going to just kind of curve over like this so I can have a little bit bigger shape. And then I'll use some of these extra little spaces on some of my paper to go ahead and draw some different little shapes on here that I could use. This could be like for nostrils on here. I might go and draw just a couple little things for some extra details and whatnot. I also want to give my little grizzly bear some eyebrows. So what I'm going to do is, on this little paper, since I have some extra room, I will draw some little curvy lines like this, kind of like a rectangle that's curved over just for some eyebrows. And then maybe on this one as well, I'll draw a really small circle on here just so I have something to add for my pupil of my bear. So here are just some random different shapes that I've put on here. 
Now the next step is you want to begin cutting these out. Now once I have all of my shapes cut out, then it's time to start putting them onto my bigger piece of paper. So I'm going to kind of slide everything over and I'm going to bring my big piece of paper back. Now what you want to do is you want to start adding some of your different details and stuff onto here. Now I like to go ahead and just kind of lay out everything first just to see how it's going to look. And it's all about layering on here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of start laying things out where I want it to go. So there are my eyes, then I can put these yellow circles on top of here. Then I've got these little small red circles that I can place right on top of there. I cut out this nice shape for the nose that I can place right here. And then I can use some different little details for like some nostrils. I could place this little red oval shape here, and then the skinnier yellow one on here for a mouth. I can use these red shapes up here for eyebrows. And then I've got these little shapes up here that I can put on each side for the ears of my bear. Actually, I can use these bigger yellow ones and put these up here and then place these red ones right on top of it. I can add some little feet right up here with some more little details right on top of here. And then I can add some little shapes all around here just for some extra little details. You can add lots of different things onto your totem pole character just to make it kind of interesting and, de and detailed. I can also use some of these little triangles that I cut out and I can make some different little claws or toes on here if I wanted to as well. So there's lots of things you guys can do on here to create your totem pole character. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to cut out or I'm going to start gluing all of my details down to my totem pole. And there you go, once you are done, you have your nice, cool looking, symmetrical totem pole character. Now you can always use more than just these two colors, but I like to just stick with two colors for details and then one color in the background. And you can always go a lot more detailed, you can add more layers on here and just create some really interesting things. I kind of switched up the nose a little bit, but I could always add more lines in here, more details up here, more stuff down here. I could always put teeth in here, there's lots of different things you can do. But there you go, there is your totem pole character. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.